All right, today we're gonna make a little video on getting started in Maya, some basic stuff so that you can learn just enough to be dangerous in Maya. Um, it's a fairly complex program, but you can get started fairly simply in it, if that makes any sense. Uh, but it's very, even though it is a CAD program, it's very different than most other CAD programs, but a lot of the idea of how you look at things um, and how you move things and change things is similar um, to a lot of our parametric modeling programs, which are our 3D modeling um, mechanical programs. So first thing you need to know how to do is how to create something that you can move around and manipulate. Now, a couple things. We're going to create something first, and then I'll show how to move your screen. You can certainly move it without something on there, but if you don't know what you're looking at, it can get really confusing in that case. So what I want you to do is up here in the top left, click on Poly Modeling. If you're not already there, these are just little shortcut bars. You can also create this stuff in other places like Create. But we're going to create a sphere. Okay, so click your sphere. Your sphere should pop up right here in the middle. And now we'll have a point of reference for what we're looking at here. Okay, so first thing you can do, wheel up, wheel down on your mouse. That will zoom you in, zoom you out. Okay, but if you notice, see how it clicks as I do it slowly here. That's not the best way to zoom in my, if I want to be real precise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the Alt key, the ALT key to the left or right of your space bar. So hold that. And then click down your right click and hold it down and drag. Look at that. Nice and accurate. We can zoom in. We can zoom out. Okay. Now let go of your right mouse button. Click your left mouse button. That allows us to rotate if you left click and drag while holding Alt. Okay. And then in addition to that, if we're holding Alt and we click down the middle mouse button, aka the wheel, we click it down like a button and drag. This is called panning. We can move up, down, left, right, all right, and adjust our screen. Now, the other thing you can do, which is pretty handy, if you have something selected in Maya and you hit F, that is fit. It will zoom you in to a nice view like so, um, where you can see nice and easy, okay? Now, once we have an object, it's important to understand how that object's made. So I'm gonna put two of these objects in here just to show you, so you have a little point of reference, okay? So I have a cube and I have a sphere. I'm gonna select that sphere right now, all right? Now, if I zoom in on my sphere, you can see that there's these lines that are all going around the sphere, okay? And they're intersecting, okay? That's because this is not a three-dimensional object. If I go inside, look at that, it's hollow on the inside. It's not a 3D object, it's a series of lines and edges and vertexes and faces that are all connected together. Okay, so if we hold right click on here, we will get a menu. All right, this menu will show you a series of things as well as some shortcuts that you can go to in Maya. Now, the first thing we'll do is we'll start from the smallest object that makes up our sphere. We'll pick vertex. Now, when I pick vertex, that shows me all of these little vertexes um, at all the intersections of all these edges. Now, if I take a vertex and I connect two vertexes, if I hold right click and go to edge, it gives me an edge. An edge is going to control two different vertexes, okay? Now, if I hold right click and I go one step further where I connect at least three edges together, I can go to face. And what that's gonna do is you can see if I was to move this face, it would control four, ver four edges in four vertexes, okay, where they all connect together. And then when I want to move the thing as a whole object, I'm going to hold right click and I'm going to go to object mode, okay? This, the square is the same way, okay? If I select the square and then I go vertex, all my vertexes are on the corners. If I hold right click and go to edge, all the edges are these little connections of the vertexes. And if I go to face, all these are little faces. And then we go back to object mode. Now, here's why that matters, because with a polygon object, and that's all we're going to cover in this video is polygon objects. There are other types of objects like NURBS, which are more surface related objects. But 
for a lot of our early projects, we use mainly polygons, okay? So what we'll do here is we'll pick our sphere and I'll show you how we can manipulate it, okay? So right now, I'm on my select tool, okay? I have three other tools I can use. The first tool is the translate tool or the move tool, okay? Now on your keyboard, one thing that's really handy that Maya does is they try and keep you with your left hand, if you're a right-handed mouse user, um, with your left hand kind of around your home keys, around your QWERTY, ASDF, all that stuff. So if I go from Q, Q is gonna highlight this, select tool. W, next one over, is the move tool. E, the next one over, is the rotate tool. R, the next one over, is the scale tool. So I can very quickly switch between these just by hitting different buttons where my hand already is. Okay, now let's start with the move tool, or W. Now, the move tool, all right, allows us to surprise, move an object, okay? So I can grab these arrows and I can drag this way or this way or this way to move this thing. Now, if your arrows are kind of hard to see, okay, you might want to zoom out. Or the other thing I can do is I can actually hit the plus and minus buttons next to my uh, backspace, and that will increase or decrease the size, okay? But keep in mind, if you increase it as you zoom out, they're gonna be really big, okay? So you might have to shrink them again. Now let's go to the rotate tool. If I go to rotate, I hit E, and I'm gonna expand this a little bit so you can see a little bit bigger. So I hit the plus, same thing works here. We have these arcs, okay? Now this arc is gonna rotate me this way. This arc's gonna rotate me this way, okay? This one will rotate me this way. All right, along different axes. And this is a perspective one. I can't think of a reason you would use that, but maybe you want to, all right? But you usually wanna just use your X, Y, and Z axis, as you can see right down here, X, Y, Z. And I'll go to my scale tool, okay, or R. Now, if I select the middle, it will scale the whole thing up and down. Scale makes things bigger or smaller, okay? I can also grab up one handle, and drag, okay, squish it down into a little disc, as you can see. I can make it like an egg shape by dragging this up, okay? This one will drag it this way, this one will drag it this way, and you can see as I rotate this around, it may look different than what you thought it would look like, okay? That's how we scale that stuff around. I can do the same thing with my cube here. I can make it like a more rectangular prism, scale it out that way, get really skinny, like a domino or something, okay? So that's my scale tool, okay? And now that I have these different things, I now can go back to those other things I was talking about, okay? So if I pick my sphere now, and I hold right click on it, and I go to vertex, I could pick a vertex here. I can go to move with W, and I can drag that vertex out, you can see, creates like a little point, like a spike. Because what Maya is going to do is these vertexes are connected with this edge no matter where you put that thing, okay? So when you pull that vertex out, it's gonna keep those edge connections, all right? So you may end up with a spike if you move one vertex. If I hold shift and I pick a whole bunch of vertexes and then I move them, well, look at that. Now I've got like a, like a knife edge or something that I'm pulling out here. I can just hit Control Z to undo that. Now I can also hold right click, I can go to edges and I can move an edge. You can see it's the same sort of thing, but it's just moving a couple vertexes at once, okay? I could also scale that edge to make it bigger or smaller. Maybe I have a certain reason I wanna do that to create some sort of shape, okay? Now if I hold right click, and I go to, um, oop, my mistake, won't go to face mode, I can move that face. I could scale that or rotate that face. I could scale it, I can make it really big. Now I've got this big protrusion sticking off the side of my sphere here, okay? Or I could even rotate it, I can twist the thing. Of course, at some point, this thing's gonna start looking pretty funky. 
but you can see I can create a sort of twisting pattern. And now when I go back to my object mode and I unselect this thing, look at what it looks like. Kind of weird looking thing, huh? Um, so that's kind of the basics of how you would manipulate an object. And there's a lot of different objects you can make. Okay, if I move these out of the way, I also have cylinders I can create. You can imagine how you can manipulate that. I can create a cone. I can create a torus or a donut shape. I can create a plane, which is like a 2D flat piece. I can create a disc. And we also have some other crazy stuff in here, like these wacky um, shapes that we can manipulate in our attribute editor. Now that brings me to the next thing. Let's say I wanted to work. Let's get rid of all this other stuff. I'm just going to select it, hit delete. Make sure you're in object mode when you do this, because if you're not, if you're in face mode, you hit delete, you're just going to get rid of that one face, okay? You can undo it. Hold right click, go to object mode, delete it. Now I have this, um, this box here, this like domino shape. And let's say, I'm going to hit F to fit it. Let's say I want to manipulate this like, you know, I don't want one solid face here. I want two, okay? There's two things I could do. I can go over here and click on Attribute Editor, which will bring it up. Or I can hit Control A, which will bring it up like this. Then what you can do is go into your Poly Options, your Poly Cube. And this is your shapes or your polygons attributes in regards to things like height, width, depth, scale, as well as subdivisions, okay? Now what a subdivision is, is the amount of divisions on a face. And they're always gonna be even when you first drag these around. So you can see I can add more divisions to the width. I can add more divisions to the height. I can add more divisions to the depth. And now, as we learned a second ago, this gives you a whole lot of options for how I might want to um, edit this thing and move things around, okay? But keep in mind, if you do a lot of editing to something and move a lot of vertexes around, and then you go in to try and move these subdivisions, you are not gonna have a good time, okay? There's a good chance your model is gonna have a tough time making sense of that geometry, okay? So the last thing we have is, let's say I wanna add a color to this, okay? Now, a simple way to do that is I'm gonna go to rendering, and I'm gonna pick one of these gray balls here to pick what type of surface material I want. And there's different types. You can see how glossy they are and different things. Lambert is kind of a plain color and that's what this is in right now. I'll pick a glossy one just to show you. So I picked this glossy material, okay? And then I can come over here to color and I can change it to a different color, okay? Now I can also do that to individual faces. So if I want face by holding right click and selecting it, I hold shift and I pick a whole bunch of faces. And then if I went up here and said, you know, this time I want to use this and I'm going to make it red. You can see now those faces are red. Okay. So this is enough to at least get started um, for the um, classes that are just experiencing Maya for the first time. Um, but if you want to go um, any further, uh, you'll have to check out some other videos as well.